Hey guys, welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex. And today we have a special guest on. We have Felipe. Welcome. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? Good. Where are you? Tell people where you are. It's nighttime there. I'm back to Dubai. So yeah, I'm back home. I arrived it last night. Yeah, I arrived it back last night, you know. Yeah. My mom was literally Googling you and sending me things about you. I was dying. And she like goes, what? She goes, he's lived in so many different places. <laughs> well, Where I live already live? in 12 countries. So 12? yeah, it's been not 12. Yeah. For the last eight years, I have been living 12 places. Oh my god. Crazy. That's what, insane. What are some of them? Philippines, Indonesia. India, Cambodia, Vietnam, Ukrainian, Italy, uh, United States, South Africa, um, Dubai, Turkey. Wow. Oh gosh. And a few others. Maybe I'm, I'm forgetting now, but yeah. Like. So is the reasoning for this for your modeling career? For yeah, else? since I started modeling in 2015, yeah. I started my first trip in Philippines, you know. So from that, I started to travel around, you know, modeling. I have the contracts for like three months in each place you pass. Mm -hmm. And then later when you are stable, you can decide more where you want to go or where you want to stay, you know. So now I'm like, after the COVID, I was like, okay, I'm going back to Dubai. That is safe. There is not many cases. So, and the work is stable for me here. So I decided to go back here. God. My first thing that comes to mind, uh, you definitely haven't watched because you have been in the U.S. villa, but the U.K. season of Love Island, the winner actually is from Dubai. Oh, or really? In, or he's living in Dubai and his name is Davide. You should try to meet up but, with him. But he lives here. He's not living in U.K. No, I'm he's not in sure. Dubai. So he'll come. Ah, he's now. living in Dubai. I didn't know he was living here. I was thinking he was living in U.K., you know. Dubai. I could be I have wrong, no idea. But if he does, you guys should meet up. That would be a. Uh, I feel like because I know he's Italian, yeah. and he, from what I see, he's living in UK. He was in Dubai for a while, but he's not living here. Oh. But I'm not sure, you know. Maybe they had him say that then. That was not Elizabeth spoiling yeah. spoiling the UK. Spoiler oh, alert! It's been a couple of days now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Felipe. We have so many questions yes. for you. First of all, how do you feel being out of the villa? Is it hard? you know, transitioning back into the real world? What's it like? I, I f it was not hard to be honest, you know, like when I went out of the villa, I was, I was happy with myself because I give my best the whole times I was there. And I was telling everyone, guys, enjoy your day. Don't be so stressed on the way you need to find a person here. You're going to find it if it needs to happening. If it's not, you have to be happy with yourself. You know, don't stress yourself on that way. And enjoy because you never know when they're going to take you out or if the girl is going to change their mind. You never know what's going to happen, you know. So I was sad. But to get back in the world was like, okay, I was without my phone for like two weeks when we are like in the villa and that is different world. So like you cannot compare in what you live there with anything else in the world. And then when you get back, many things changing two weeks you were like what's happening you know we spoke with your family your friends and many things was happening I was like this is never happening when I have my phone every day <laughs> but two weeks without many things is changing you know like so it was good to have the phone back but also I don't like it much the social media life you know I feel we spend so much time on telephones and we don't enjoy life so I was really happy in the villa because it's like no phones. So it was good to enjoy yourself, you know, like you do work out, you talk with people, you go to pool. So for me, it was good to be there also, you know, in that way. I, I didn't mind it at all to be without my phone. I think Alex and I found ourselves the same way. Like it was a good detox and you almost just forget about your phone. Like you don't think about that when you're there. Yeah. And then when you get your phone back, you have the stress back. Because exactly. the people start to text you like, how is it? How do you feel? And they're like, please give me a break. You're like, I need to just copy and paste the same message to everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So exactly. How did, how were you discovered for the show? Uh, I got the, the message from, 
I got an email, and then I was thinking it was a fake email, and I found the Instagram, and I asked her, hey, did you send an email to me? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, yeah. And she asked me, do you think about Joy Love Island or something? And I was like, I didn't know what was the show. I was just like, I asked a few friends, but this was from the last year. Oh, but I didn't have the, yeah, for last year. So I didn't have the visa. And also in that time, I was like with a girl, like on that way, like we're going to be together. We're not going to be. And I was like, I don't want to join the castings. I don't have the visa yet. I don't know if I'm going to be with this girl or not. So I don't want you to spend your time and my time. And then beginning of this year, I got the visa. And then I text the producer again. Hey, I have the visa now. And I'm single. If you guys still want to, to do the casting, I'm open for that. And then she texts me like, okay, I'm going to share. And I started the process. You know, how is it? You know, like one interview, two interview, but... It was good. I was not expecting for them to pick me. First, because I'm in Dubai. Second one, because it's too hard, everything. One interview, I was in Dubai. The second one, I was in Mexico. The third one, I was in Miami. And then I was like, where you are now? You know, so every time was different time. <laughs> that but, in the end, out. but in the end, I made yeah. it, you know, and I'm really happy to be part of that. You know, okay, it was two weeks for many people, like, ah, oh, it's too short. But for us, who's been there two weeks, is like two months. Oh yeah. So yes. it's like, it's, it's a lot, you know? Totally. Time is not real there. No, time does not exist there. Yeah. The time there is like the day is 48 hours. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. let's get into, we saw you with Courtney coupled up and you guys looked so into each other. Like every time we saw you, you were just touchy feely just super into each other tell us a little bit about your connection and your relationship inside the villa i feel with courtney it was the easy way we had was like she's really open like me and i love it the girls when they have some attitude you know they expressing what they feeling you know i don't like it to be guessing what they have in mind or anything so she opened to me like i was her first choice but and had big hair so she didn't step for me and she want to know me more from the other guys. She was seeing them only as a friend. But she was feeling like some sexual energy next to us or something. And Okay, let's see how it's going to be. I'm interested in you as well because you opened to me. So I don't have to be guessing if you like me or not. Because I'm not the person who likes to guess anything. I prefer you to tell me, you know. For me, the relationship is 50-50. So in the way she opened to me and I opened to her, I feel had like, many connections also she's a styling she travel around the world and i didn't want to find anyone in the villa thinking only inside and forget about the outside because i don't live in the states my life is like one luggage and travel around the world and then i make it do fall in love with me and after five weeks we go out and i say okay goodbye ciao you know, like, no, I don't want to do that, you know? So I, you have to think from the outside. Many of the people there, they have a stable job. They don't planning to move out of the US. They don't want to have a long distance relationship. So as many things was in my mind, not because I want to be with her or something, but it was like, this is, I have to know before I fall in love with someone because I don't want to be hurt or I don't want to hurt anyone, you know? And if you get that connection, but later from what I watched when I went out, she wants me to, to know her more in a deep level, but she never asked me about anything. So I, I cannot guess you want to know me more or something, you know, like I was happy in the way we are living there, but for her was not enough. So if it's not good for you, please just come and tell me because I don't want to be guessing, you know, I just feel was that way, you know. When the recoupling came, did you have a sense then that she was going to pick Bryce? Yeah, I knew about that. You know, yeah. like, yeah, Courtney is like, she don't hide her feelings or anything. Yeah. Just to look at her, I knew she was going to pick him. You know, she didn't know how to talk with me. And in the day, we didn't have much chance to spend together. You know, I was feeling that, you know. So when she went to talk with me, I was like, don't worry. It's your decision. And I accept what you want to do. I want to be with you, but if you change your mind, it's fine. Because she was always telling me inside at the villa, like, uh, no, I'm afraid if someone come here, you're going to turn your head. 
she come to the villa and she turned her head. But this is can happen in the villa. Yeah. In the morning, you love the person. In the night, you hate them. So you, you never know how it's going to be your feelings inside. You know, it's changing so much. So I don't think it's a wrong way. Because or she picked him on that time or he was out of the villa. So if you feel something more on him, you didn't feel him with me in the days we are together, go ahead. Because if it's me, maybe I was going to do the same. Yeah. So I'm not gonna, I told her, I'm not going to judge you or blame you or anything because I know the feelings here is too hard. She told me, I want to pick Bryce, like in the way, like I want to know him more, but also want to be in touch with you. In the villa, you cannot do 50-50. <laughs> you have to go 100% only to one, you know? Yeah, so exactly. I understand her. I understand her choice, you know? I was not sad at all. Because she opened to me and I knew she was going to pick him, you know? So it was like, I was cool on that. So let's back it up a little. Let's say Bryce did not come in and like three new girls came in. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you probably, there's a high possibility you would have been interested in one of them? Depends on the girls. Could be possible. You know, I, I'm not going to say no. I was liking what I have with Courtney, but can be another girl there and I feel something different and like, why not? You know, like we are there to try. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the feelings is change or something. You know, I'm not the person who fall in love easily with anyone. I know that I have difficult to talk about my feelings or something. It's something like I block in my mind. Like, no, let's talk about work. The feelings, we don't have to talk, you know. So I try to push that. But in the villa, no, we were there to talk about that. So I, I'm grateful on that because I open more myself, you know. Uh, I learn more about me and everything. But I can feel like if it was three new girls, there was a big chance for me to see another girl. It's something new, you know, so. Do you think that you opened up with Courtney and she just didn't open up back to you? Or, because, yeah, was it mutual? No, I feel it was mutual on the way, but I was feeling she wants to have something more deeper on the faster way as I think it has to be. Because sometimes I was seeing some couples fighting and we are shutting the night on bed, you know, like, and she was, but if it's you, you're going to do the same. I was like, Courtney, there is some people here. I was feeling that. They are there for the money, to play the game. The most important is to be in the couple. I was not there for the money. I was there to, to see if, okay, if I go to the finals because I like it, someone, okay, but I'm not going to force myself to couple with someone just because I want to go to the finals. Who is watching is going to see that. And my friends who knows me, they're going to vote against that because they're going to say, no, you're lying. So I know the friends I have, you know, they're not going to support me on that. They're going to say, no, you're lying. You know, like, you don't like this girl because they know me. So I was like, I have to be true with myself first. But I was feeling sometimes she was asking me the things and she wanted me to say what she wanted and not what I want to say, you know, the way I think. And she was thinking like, but you are playing the game. No, I'm not playing the game, but we are in a game. It's a love game, but it's still a game. I'm not playing. You open to me, I open to you. If I don't like it, something I'm going to tell you. But if you don't like it, you have to come and tell me because I don't know you to know where is your mind or what you have in mind, you know. You mentioned some people are playing a game. Who do you think's playing a game? My mind went there too. <laughs> well, from, from the time I was there, I, I was feeling now I feel it's changed a bit. But from the beginning, I was thinking Andy and Sydney was playing the game. Like in the way they didn't care about much. I mean, you have to explore your feelings, but the way they did for me was not the fair way. It was for me, all, all the decisions in the village made it 50-50. No one made the decision alone. I'm sorry, but like, okay, I can pick you on my time, but I'm not going to pick you if you don't want to be with me. No one is going to do that there. So all the decisions is 50-50, you know. So I feel like he picked Sydney. When he saw it is not going to work because she was missing Isaiah, he decided to go back to Matt to have someone to stay in the villa, you know. So was my opinion I like them like I don't have anything against or anything but what I was seeing was like okay they might be playing only the game you know I know Sydney really like it Isaiah now from what I see and everything but on the time I was there I was feeling like they're really playing the game or 
they really want someone, you know? It's funny because they've like quickly become a favorite yeah. of America. And I think that a lot, everyone could see in the beginning that the was, game was being yeah. played, but I think, well, from my perspective, it seems genuine at this point. Yeah, I just feel now from what I see, it was like they passed everything they could pass. Exactly. And they discovered like they liked each other. So it was good. But in the beginning when I was there, I was feeling the same. And then after the recoupling, with, and in the first day in the morning, when they wake up, I was like, what you guys did? Because you see them face like, no, it was a mistake from Andy, it was a mistake from Sydney, you know? You see them face, but they were like, guys, what a mistake, you know? But they had chance to get back because sometimes they don't have that chance. So I'm happy for them. And I feel like now they don't care about the game anymore. They like to be with, I feel like, can be any girl or anybody in the villa who come out, they're not going to destroy what they have. It's going to be hard for someone to go there and take them, you know? So I feel on that way. Also, Timmy and Zita. <laughs> Spilling the tea. I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> I, okay, so being totally honest, we didn't see a ton of you on the reasoning they edited maybe the way that they did is because I feel like you and Courtney appeared so strong that it was kind of like, oh, we'll show them eventually at some point. But for now, like, let's keep it like to the side. So I feel like we didn't even get to see a ton of you and Courtney, like you guys' actual conversations and stuff. Like, obviously we see you in the challenges and around all the other Villa Islanders. Islanders. Well, being honest, I feel because there's no drama. Yeah. So when there is no drama, it's like it's, there is not much to show, you know, like, so I feel more on that way, you know, mm -hmm. of course, the people want to see something, but we are getting along easily. You know? We had a good conversations, but it was something like fair always, you know, because she, she expressed herself. So it's easy to have that conversation. It's yeah. not like she say what I want to listen and then she go to the girls and say something different. I watch a few of episodes when I went out and I'm like, Hey, you just told the guy one thing and you go to the girls and you say another thing. It's like, why you didn't tell him what you are expressing? You know, like, so don't have time to hide your feelings inside. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the girls want to hide something, you know. So even I saw it something with Serenity, you know, she was upset when I sneak out for the meeting the night. And when I talk with her, she's like, no, I was just, Ori, where are you or something? Please. I saw it, you complaining about that. So you, you could tell me, you know, like you don't have to hide that, you know? I like that you're super real. Like you're you know, this straight to the point, straight to the point. And that's something that we're lacking yeah, in a lot of people. I did not expect to get this much from you, to be honest. But okay, my question now is, would you go back? Like, let's say they were like, it's a new season. We're starting another one in the fall. Would you go back and do it again? I think so. <laughs> I, I was feeling good. I, I have no regrets yeah. for anything. No, I enjoy myself. Uh, so I, I, I don't have nothing to say. I don't want to join that again. I know the process is hard, you know, like, so everything is a bit stressful. But when you're good with yourself, it's becoming easy. I knew already what I want for me there. So I didn't have to like trying to, to guess people or something like I know myself and I know what I don't like it. So it was easy for me. I seen the things like this girl is too strong. So I, I'm, I don't like that. So I'm not going to try to know her deep because I know it's not going to work for myself. You know? I'm thinking about you're 32, right? Yeah, 32. I think well, that this, I'm like, age this all played, makes a lot of sense yeah. now. <laughs> How, was it hard to connect with the younger Islanders just because like, I mean, 21 and 32, you've experienced so much more. Completely different lives. <laughs> was it harder to connect or did it really not play a factor? I don't, I don't feel it's harder. Like for me, it's still like age for me is still one number and there is some people I talk, they're 45 and they have the mind from 18. And there is people with 21, that is the mind with 50, you know? So it depends on how you grow yourself or on how you do the things on your life or what you passed before, who is made that you be where you are. So I only had two girlfriends in my life, one for four years and the other one for four years and a half. 
So I know for me, it's really hard to fall in love with someone because I need to see so much about that person to be sure what I want from me, especially because I'm Gemini. So in the morning, you like the person. In the other day, you don't like it anymore. So you know that. I'm a Gemini so, too. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. So it's hard on that way, you know, like, we're like, what's going to go, you know? So you want to, first you want to be sure with yourself and then you tell the person, yeah, this is what I really wanted. So I feel like in my relationships, I had my mistakes and I learned on that many things. And I feel like now it's like when I, I met the, the person in two weeks, three weeks, I know already if I'm going to dig into to get to know more or if I'm going to like, no, let's be friends because I know it's not going to work. You know? We kind of saw that with, sorry, this is going way back to the beginning with you and Serenity, but we could tell by the end, you guys were super, super close. Can you talk about your relationship? Because we are huge fans of her. She has us cracking up like at every turn. I love it, Serenity, you know, like, I mean, when I saw it here, the first, like when I just arrived, like the way she was smiling and she just looked at me, I knew like we're going to be friends. Like I picked her because of her energy and I know we have to pick the girls and then we're going to know everyone. No one is going to pick the first girl and then going to fuck. can happening, but I don't believe on that, you know, like you just see the person and it's going to work, you know. That was good because we had the good conversations. We become good friends, you know, and I was wishing to her to find someone. She was really like a Tyler and then they kick him out. And then with Chess it was going well. I don't know now how, how is the things going, you know. So I like it here and Zita, you know, I had like good chats with them. Like I feel they know already what they want. So it's easy to talk with someone when they know what they want. Yeah, totally. A lot of fans want to know who was your best friend in there? Let's say guys, because I feel like you gave the girls already. But who were your best guy friends? The guy, I got along with all the guys, you know, but the ones I was shouting more, I can say like, Timmy was the ones who were talking more about the feelings, you know, or something, how we think, because he's Gemini also. So, you know, like we get, we get along together to know that. With Tyler, I didn't have much time with him, but we get the click so fast that, you know, we're not talking about the relationship, but he's the person you're going to be friends forever. You know, like I like his energy or something. The only one I was a bit hiding myself was Andy. Because after I figured out the situation, I put my two steps back. I was like, okay, he was always saying he's good with the girl, but in the next minute he picked another girl. So I was like, he's hiding from us as well or not? So it was just that, but I was open with all the guys. Jesse is the funny guy ever, you know, like, so I don't feel the guys was like a bad guys in the villa, you know? About chess, I cannot say much because he just arrived like, few days before I leave and uh, Jeff and Bryce as well. So I cannot tell much about them. But the guys from the beginning, I feel we got like along together. We respect the opinions from the others. Like, hey, if you like this girl, we're not going to go here uh, to talk with her. Or if I'm interested in her as well, I'm going to open to you. Okay, they had that issue. But between the other guys, it was an open thing, you know? So I like, this is the fair way to play a game, you know? What was like the funniest thing that happened while you were there? Was there like a good funny moment that maybe the camera didn't catch or that wasn't aired? Well, if you guys catching Jess eat 24 hours, it's going to be a fun moment <laughs> because he never stopped eating and he's still the same, you know? We are like, where he put this food, you know? So we had many, like, we had the... Uh, a swimming competition. I don't know if they post or not. I was teaching the guys how to swim in because they don't know how to swim in Jess or Timmy. So, yeah, we had some fun. We are playing like uh, soccer with the American football and Jesse was like, oh, the best part is when we score a goal because the celebration is like amazing and he was celebrating there. So we had many things that they don't show in the TV. And that's why like for me, it was like I was happy there the whole time. Because, like, we had fun, you know, it was never boring there, you know. Yeah, it's such great memories. Totally. Even, even if you go home, it's like you're still just so appreciative of to be there and meet these people because everyone is so amazing. I mean, they get picked for a reason. 
they're all so cool and interesting. So I'm happy to hear that you had such an amazing time. What do you think is something that you learned from the experience that you're taking away from this? Um, I learned more like about like if you like it someone, don't wait so much to tell the person how do you feel because normally we want to hide that until the person show you something. And I have to be happy with myself. And if I'm happy with someone, I have to tell them. Doesn't matter if they're gonna like me or not. Because normally you just want to say to the other, like, I love you if they say I love you back. So this is not the fair way to do it. So it's like, if you like it, some, someone express her feelings to that person. Doesn't matter if she's gonna give the same back to you or not, but express yourself. This is the most important because in the villa, we put the thing outside. We're gonna take like two months, three months to say, oh, I like you, I like this. And then you don't have that time. So you, we can use that outside as well. Of course, no one is gonna love the other in five days, was just example. But if you like it, someone, you have to say as fast as you know that and not expecting them to give the same back. Just do what you feeling you have to say to the person or do to them. That's amazing. I think great. that's a great lesson to learn. And I think Love Island really does teach that. Felipe, thank you so, so much for coming on. We are so happy to meet you. We hope one day we can meet you wherever you are. <laughs> thank you girls also for, for inviting me. I had so much fun. And when I be back to the US, let's go out, everyone. Of let's course. have beer, tequila, let's drink, you know? Yes, Enjoy life. Less. We're both in LA. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you so much, Felipe. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Bye.